but um, yeah, she has this ability to tell whether people are lying or not. You know, I feel like there's a lot of NFL players that have that ability because, you know, like I said, with Dan Campbell, for example, you know, the, the, the players will will sniff out a phony. Yeah. Like what you see is what you get with him. And the players have bought in. I mean, you saw, was it Jamal Williams at the end of that game against the, the Packers? Am I even? Was when he was, uh, you're talking about when he was in tears? When, when, yeah, and he was yeah. in tears and he, then he was, you know laughing and making jokes and you know everything i mean that's kind of who he is and yeah if you got a guy like that that loves the game so much that when he talks about it he starts crying you know that's those are the kind of guys that i feel like could absolutely it's natasha leone no oh, okay yeah but yeah. um but thank you uh 206 <laughs> uh, but yeah i mean that i would but i would just kill i would kill to be there it would be so interesting and uh, you know and i don't think that there's ever been i mean since the whole malik mcdowell thing now all of a sudden it, it be, has become like we you actually know what that's about man mm -hmm. like this guy had a ton of potential and he was really explosive and you know and i guess you know i would say don't take my word for it but that's what john thought and john's done a pretty good job and that guy never got on the field for the Seahawks, and mm -hmm. that's where, what you're in danger of here, man. You have this opportunity, number yeah, five. Yeah, that, that's different. That was uh, that was that what was top like, of the second round. Yeah, like the first pick in the second first round. First pick, or, which still obviously carries value, but sure. this is top five. This is somebody yeah. you expect to be a Pro Bowl level talent. You're talking about, especially if it's a quarterback, you expect that's going to be your franchise guy. So there's right. there's different value and importance placed on this pick. Um, Lance Zierlein, who uh, who was on with Brock and Salk, talked about the the conversation with Jalen Carter, and they said he's talking about um, you know the answer in order to determine you ask a question that you know the answer to just to just to see what his level of accountability will be. Well, I would probably start with something I already knew behind the scenes, and I'd want to I'd want to get his answer. I'd want to see his level of accountability. I'd ask him about you know, his work ethic in terms of missing, you know, being late to practices or meetings or things like that. And I'd want to see what he says. I'd want to see if he's coachable. And, you know, one of the, one of the things I've heard is that he just thinks that the staff has been very positive with him about that he's doing things right. And then, you know, negative stuff comes out about him behind the scenes. And maybe he hasn't been given exactly what he needs to hear. Maybe he has, been enabled some i don't know if that's the case or not but i think you want to find out his level of accountability and self-awareness so you ask him a leading question that'd be interesting i mean uh, and i would assume that's not a unique approach uh, you know just if you know something you know the the absolute fact about a specific question you're going to ask all right yeah. let's let's I mean he may not maybe it's something he, he would think you wouldn't know yeah, well, he, right, he how uses, does he answer? He uses accountability. Yeah, Chuck Knox used to have these really hokey little sayings everywhere up on these big cardboard. It would be like a cartoon picture, and there was a I'll never forget the guy dressed up like he's got his hard hat on, and he's pointing to himself with his thumb, and it says accountability. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, just one. Yeah, no, there was a whole bunch of different ones, uh, sayings, you know, of all the things that you, you want to be. But that's that's exactly. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he's right. Ask him a question about something that you you kind of know, and you know, here here's the other thing. So for me, in nine years in the NFL, you know how many times I was fined for being late? Zero. I was never late. I you got, even ran to practice in your shorts or yeah, I, your, I your underwear or whatever happened that of, day. Yeah, a pair of shorts, and uh, that was pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> That's when I didn't mind going around shirtless. Yeah. <laughs> Today you'd be late, right? Because you'd be yeah, searching I mean, for a I shirt. i got to have a shirt. <laughs> I'm going to pay the fine. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I got fined a couple times for being overweight. That's yeah. probably not a surprise there. But, um, but yeah, it, those are the kinds of things. Like, how? what does this mean to you? I mean, it's... It's everything. And so, you know, some of the things you see with the way he plays, what, you know, you hear about, I mean, I can't say enough how ridiculous it is for him to show up out of shape when this is your, this is your gateway to the NFL, your something that you've yeah. dreamed of ever since you were a little kid. I think my, I have a Dr. Seuss, my book about me from when I was a kid mm -hmm. and it, it says in there, what do you want to be when you grow up? I, I wrote pro football player, scribbled it out. And, you know, that that's where he is right now. And so for him to not take this seriously, that's why 
once again, I, I would kill to be there just to yeah. not not necessarily ask questions, but I just I just want to hear what his answers are. I, I agree. See how he one quick responds. one quick note: uh, Brady Henderson tweeting out when a team brings in a prospect on a thirty visit like this, it can interview him, talk football, show him around the facility, conduct a physical, but the team is not allowed to work him out. Mm. And he wrote that's notable here, given the reports that Carter couldn't finish his pro day workout, so they can't. Yeah. They can't run them through the paces to see, all right, have you been taking it seriously since? What kind of condition are you in? Are you in? So those, that, those won't be, those questions won't be answered.